Hey everybody, it's Mark here at Gary's Guitars, and I'm here to talk about strings. String gauges, more specifically. Um, so, it gets a little confusing, so I just thought I'd, you know, have this little talk. Let's start by talking about acoustic strings. Um, we're going to use D'Addario's as examples of uh, the different gauges that are available to you, because D'Addario, I always joke that they're the Coca-Cola of strings, they're kind of what a lot of people go for. Um... So uh, let's talk about, uh, so you have a system that's also between companies, different string gauges have different kinds of names. Some call it something medium light, some call it medium, this and that. Um, so, but in general, let's see here, here it is. So in the D'Addario world, or most string uh, gauging, 12 to 53 is called light. And these are what I call normal. So light. Uh, they're not. Uh, so if you tell someone there's light, medium, and heavy, and they don't know what they want, they probably think, "Well, I want medium because that's in the middle. I don't want it too heavy. I don't want it too light." Well, mediums can be too heavy for a lot of guitars. Uh, today's guitars, especially, are kind of engineered to use light strings. The lighter your strings, the less string tension, the less uh, tension it puts on the guitar, and so all the major companies ship their guitars with light strings generally. Now, going back to your dad's or your dad's dad's generation, mediums used to be kind of the norm, and that's uh, 13 to 56. And these in the acoustic world are a little heavier than normal. You should use these if you have a very sturdy guitar. So first of all, if your guitar is, is all at all compromised, go for light or extra light or extra extra light. If it's a full scale guitar, um, and if you have a truss rod, if your guitar does not have a truss rod, the little bit of, maybe it's 20 extra pounds of pressure can pull on your neck, and then you have no way of re-straightening the neck. But you can go with 13s if you want a meaty string, and, um, and your guitar is in good condition, um, and, the, and you have a truss rod or a way to adjust your action if, the, uh, if it goes up. So, um, 10 to 52 is what Daddario calls... Um, or oh, 11 to 52 is what they call custom light. Just a little lighter than light. These was what we should call light. We should call these medium. And we should call these heavy. But we don't. So this is a custom light. Um, these are great for guitars that are, like I said, troubled. So you want to put a minimal pressure on it. Uh, for beginners or people who don't like to, don't like the hard pushing on the, you know, um, so even no matter where the string action is set, uh, heavier strings, higher tension at the same pitch, harder to push on. So, um, and they can work on most any guitar as well. Um, this also begins, and then we have the extra light gauge, uh, which is 10 to 47. Uh, these, you know, so these can kind of be interchangeable sometimes, but when do we say go extra light? When you have a short scale guitar? When your guitar is in real trouble, uh, when you have no truss rod and your neck is bent, that will give you a good way to, to put less pressure on it. Um, if you have a guitar like all of the Harmonies and Stellas that I love from the uh, early, you know, from the uh, from the 40s and 50s, I say use the extra lights. Um, they, they benefit from it. So, what else should I say? Let's talk about... Um, uh, there is no, like, uh, uh, ironically, there is there a heavy D'Addario? Um, I guess D'Addario makes a medium, but they don't make a heavy <laughs> for acoustic. I wouldn't go any heavier than mediums. I think they probably make them. D'Addario makes hundreds of sets of strings. Wouldn't go any heavier than the, uh, the regular mediums. And then you can go as light as you want. Uh, the only, like, downfall, you go with lighter strings, um, your string tension decreases um, and your strings get a little quieter which can quiet down the entire instrument so that's something to consider but um, playability wise and everyone's always talking about I want ultra low action I want easily playable guitars playability wise using lighter strings makes things more playable let's talk about electric strings a little so over here we got Ernie Ball Ernie Ball has what they call their slinky strings um, now, string tension also kind of um, is designed into the string. 
how tightly they are wound, what size is the core. These things all kind of figure into this. Uh, Ernie Ball came up with their, their own formulation and they call them Slinky. And then they went from regular Slinky to hybrid Slinky, super Slinky, and power Slinky, and not even Slinky, and all sorts of uh, clever names. Uh, but, so a regular set of strings, and I guess we'll go back to talk about the Dario's. Now, in the, this adds the, to the confusion. In the electric world, medium is kind of the normal. That's air quotes. So, uh, most guitars uh, come, or you can take 10s, 10 to 46, pretty well. And a lot of guitars come with them. Fender is now shipping all their guitars with light strings. Uh, once again, the reason Martin ships them with light strings, all the guitar companies ship new guitars with light strings, is um, to encourage the customer to use light strings to uh, eliminate possibility of uh, warranty repairs. Uh, and then also to, um, to make the guitars easily playable so that when someone demos them, they're like, oh, this is easy to play. Um, so, uh, in the electric world, 10s are kind of the normal, though. Um, Nines are considered light, so here we have a nine set, nine to 42. And then there are the legends. There's like, oh, Billy Gibbons uses, you know, seven and a half or eight string. Or Neil Young uses eights, I think, for a while. And then, oh, I, and this always comes up, Steve Ravon used 12, Steve Ravon used 13s. I heard Steve Ravon used the telephone wire on his guitar. You know, it's, um, yes, yeah, Steve Ravon used 12s or 13s briefly. And he had a brief life as well, but later in life, in his brief life, he started using something a little more normal. He, he realized that he was hurting himself and the guitar. And uh, so 11s are a good heavy string. If you do want something heavy, and so this is for a guitar, you know, if you are primarily an acoustic player and you want your electric to feel like an acoustic, if you are, if you want something specifically heavy so that you can, you know, you get the resistance on the bends and that kind of thing, get um, maximum string tension, uh, 11s are a good way to go. Uh, there's some jazz players who like to go with the very heavy strings um, out of tradition. So 12s, but flat wound strings, a little different too, feel wise. Uh, so let me just say, um, and then, you know, go as light or as heavy as you want. So once again, like in the acoustic, the, um, the benefits and... Uh, and um, pros and cons so to speak are the same lighter strings easier playability uh, they go easier on your instrument the only uh, heavier strings hard to play tonally tonal difference so um, and some people like that that uh, higher tension boomier sound but uh, so I will say an electric medium is the normal and an acoustic light should be the normal and that is damn confusing and there's no good reason for it Especially now, uh, other than just tradition, especially now that, like I said, most manufacturers are shipping their guitars with light strings on them. Um, especially in the acoustic world. So, I guess that's enough right now about strings. Um, there's probably a whole other video to make about strings, but this one's going long. So, um, we'll talk about string uh, alloys and uh, string uh, coating and not coating maybe in another video. So, thanks for watching. And check out all the other videos that uh, I try to make to keep you entertained and informed. At Gary's Guitars, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, stop by. Thanks a lot.